What is up guys, Colin1 here, and I'm back bringing you another tutorial, and this time it's not in After Effects, as I was about to say, it's actually how to record Call of Duty 4 demos on a Mac, really simply, there's no Apple Motion, which I've seen in a lot of different tutorials, and yeah, this is the way I've been doing it for the last three weeks since I've had the game, and there's really no reason to go through all the processes of Apple Motion and all that stuff, so yeah let's get right into this one first thing what you're going to want to do is go to your finder go to your user then go to library if you don't have this library folder I'll put a terminal command in the description which you can just go to terminal copy it from the description and once uh, just once terminal loads on your computer copy it from the description and paste it right in here press enter quit out of terminal and you'll have this library folder then go to application support scroll up to call of duty 4 now what I suggest you do is go back right click make an alias and you'll have and then put it on your desktop and you'll see here I have this folder here called call of duty 4 link it's the same exact folder whatever you do in here goes right to the folder that we were just in it's the exact same thing so you'll have all of this I hope and um, I'm gonna be showing you a couple things today so the first thing is recording some gameplay from a pro mod or public match whatever you're doing recording it from Call of Duty 4 and then you want to export and then you want to record that at a high frame rate and edit it let's say so let's go right into Call of Duty 4 so I'm going to show you something very useful I didn't know for a while as soon as you press Call of Duty 4 press the command key this will open this window where you can choose full screen or not full screen mode I'm going to not put it in full screen mode for the tutorial and you'll see my different COD figs here. This is what I play on call, colon one, but just because colon one such a big, uh, such a big dimension, I'm just gonna play in the movie. We'll get into the movie config a little bit later, but ignore that for now. So I'm just gonna make a make it start up a game, but this can be done in regular servers as well. I'm just gonna make a private match right now. If you don't know this command, you can do slash dev map mp underscore and then your map name I'm doing crash um, if you don't have this thing that I have here it's the command line you can go to options and game options enable console now to get to the console you have to press the tilde key which is next to the one button press that tilde key now do slash and now to make your little own little dev map you just type in dev map space MP underscore and I'm gonna be doing crash alright now you have this little map which you can play in now let's say this was an actual pro mod game and you just spawn in and you're doing whatever you're doing just as you're spawning you wanna press the same command key the tilde key press slash then press record and then you can name this record whatever you want. I'm going to record this tut. And then you press enter. So now in the bottom left, uh, you can see recording tut. And then when you're done in your pro mod or whatever you're doing, you just do slash again, the same tilde key, slash stop record. And now you made yourself a demo. I'm going to quit out of Call of Duty for now. And, um,. You can see this, if you were in a pro mod game doing this, you would go to your mod, go to your demos, and you can see all your demos that you recorded. So that's pretty much that. If you weren't in a pro mod game, I honestly don't know, because I never do anything not in pro mod, because I'm just an editor, and I like editing in pro mod. So I don't even know, oh, actually it's in main, it's in main demos, and you can see the tut. But we're going to pretend you just recorded that in Pro Mod, so forget about that. Also, you can do this in a contest. If you downloaded some clips like I have here, just from straight from a contest, you can just copy these, go into that and go to your Pro Mod 211 or any Pro Mod that you have, go to your demos, paste them in, and rename them something simple. I just name them numbers, and you have to make sure you do .dm underscore one. That's the extension. You need that or else it won't work. So if we were 
uh, now that we have either you copied and pasted from a contest or you just recorded one yourself like I showed you you're, uh, once it's in that demos folder you're pretty much done now if you open up Call of Duty again you're gonna want to make, go, one, you're gonna wanna make a new config I already have mine it's named movie that's what you're gonna wanna do name it movie or something that you know what your recording config go to options graphics make sure it's on 1280 by 720 that's what you're gonna want for recording for editing and I have everything on yes pretty much all the best quality you can get um, you can just look at these for a little bit I'm not even sure if these are the best but they look pretty good for me so pretty good now um, we're gonna want to want to make some binds for for this game so that recording is very simple so I'm gonna quit out of Call of Duty one more time I'm gonna go back to my Call of Duty link folder which is very important to have since if I didn't have that we'd be have, we'd have to go through that whole process again of going to my library and all that stuff so this is really useful so go to your players and you wanna see your new movie config that you just made oh and I have my config here I'm gonna open this with text edit and you're gonna to wanna to do the same and you're going to want to look into the description and you're going to see a few binds uh, you're going to see uh, these five I'll go through these one one by one I have F5 is executing my movie config now you'll see here is if I'm in my pro mod if, if I'm in the mod with all the demos in it as you can see here it's pro mod 211 I have a movie config I downloaded that pasted it into this folder and renamed it movie.cfg that's it's this is pretty much executing that file and it's going to give it that nice look for your edits the next one i have is bind f6 as c slash cl avi demo 500 this is all going to be in the description i'm just trying to explain it to you really quick this one the uh, avi demo 500 this is stop this is to start the recording at 500 frames per second the next one is to stop the recording. It pretty much is the same thing, except it's zero frames per second. This next one in the description, bind F8, I have is CG Draw 2D Zero. This is only for cinematics. It takes away everything on your screen, whether it be kill feed, um, your HUD, everything. That I don't like that for. I don't like that for um, recording clips because my movie config takes everything away except for the kill feed and the plus five and all that stuff so I only use this for cinematics this next one is also the same record command except it's 59.94 frames per second I use that for cinematics where I won't be doing a lot of twitch string also bind F10 I have here is a green screen you can make anything a green screen on a Call of Duty 4 PC and that's pretty helpful so the, all of these will be in the description and you just copy this open up your config go to the scroll down to the bottom skip a few lines you know just paste them in and and when you shut up the game everything will be all set for you automatically so that's pretty much that close this folder again open up call of duty 4 again now go to your movie config which you just edited the config go to your mods go to whatever mod that your demos are in as you recall, it's ProMod 211 for me. Now, if you press the same command key, the tilde key next to the one, press that. Do forward slash, which is the same as the question mark key. Forward slash, demo. And then whatever you have your demo named as. I have one through five, and I'll just do demo one. If you recall, in my config, F5 is to execute the movie config. So I'll press FN in the bottom left and then F5. Now Call of Duty 4 has the movie config on it. To start the recording, I have F6, so I'll press FN, F6. Now you'll see it starts to go down, and then this is actually 500 frames per second. That's what I have my config set to, as um, that was the command I had in my config. And you can edit that to whatever frame per second you want. 500 seems to work for me. And in this tutorial, I'll be using 500. And I'm just going to let this record for a few more seconds. Alright, and now I'll press FN F7 
which is my stop record button and pretty much I'm done so you're gonna want to quit out of Call of Duty 4 go back to your Call of Duty 4 folder close the demos now in this in the mod that you just recorded from I pro mod 211 for me you'll see a new folder screenshots every time you record you're gonna wanna either move the screenshot folder so it's no longer in here or you just rename it because let's say we were to keep that in the folder and then go record again it, everything's gonna be in this one folder and then you won't be able to um, record very well when you export into After Effects and all that which you're about to see so you're pretty much done with that folder now if you go into this folder you'll see actually 500 screenshots per second this is a TGA file, which is a Targa, and this is where most people bring it into Apple Motion, but I don't really see the need to do that, and what we're going to need to do is, I'm going to rename it first of all, Tut, and all you have to do from here, oh, let's delete this Tut, and I'll make it Tut, and all you have to do from here is go into your After Effects, import, and imp uh, you're going to want to go to your desktop where you dragged it. Look for your folder that you renamed. I remember I remain I renamed mine Tut. Go to the top of the folder where your first screenshot is. Click it and you'll see target sequence. Make sure that's enabled. Then press open. Now you'll see right here frame rate 30. Now if we go right click on it, interpret footage main. Assume this frame rate. Let's say we were to do 500 like we recorded. It maxes out at 99. I'm not sure why they did that, but that's what happens. So I'm just going to set this to 59.94, which is double 30. Now rename it to Tut. Make a new composition. Just drag it, the clip, right into this button, which is the new composition button. And if I were to ramp preview this, this is going to be very slow. This is actually 500 frames per second. So you can see really slow motion. This isn't lagging, it's very smooth but it's very slow. So how to fix this without Apple Motion? Right click, go to time, time stretch. Now if you're following this tutorial and you're using the 500 frames per second way that I did, you're gonna wanna set this either from around 11 to 13. I've been using 13, that looks good. You'll see that this trims down, the, the clip trims down. I'm gonna press N to stop my work area here. Right click on it, trim comp to work area. I'm sorry if I'm going fast here, but uh, I hope you guys can keep up. You can comment any questions that you have right now. But now, if we ramp preview it now, this is actually full speed. This is just like as if you were playing Call of Duty at regular speed, not for 500 frames per second. But by doing it this way, this is actually all the frames that we just condensed are still there. So let's say we're to make a new comp, name it main drag our a composition with the clip in it. I'll zoom in by pre pressing the plus button. Now if we right click time, enable time remapping, as you, if I were to ramp preview it right now without changing anything, I'd have it Call of Duty normal speed like looks good. But now all you have to do to sync it to your edit is just time remap just with just like you would with any other clip. But you don't have to worry about frame blending or anything because now if I ramp preview it, I just dragged it out over double what the original clip was. But if you remember, we recorded in 500 frames per second. So this is really, really smooth slow motion straight out of After Effects. There's no Apple Motion or anything. Now it's lagging just because I'm recording and it looks, it's just sometimes it happens in After Effects. But if we look again, really smooth. And that's without Apple Motion. I hope this was helpful. Really simple way to re record Call of Duty 4 straight from, um, straight with After Effects. Nothing, no other program, no Apple Motion or any of that. So, yeah, I pretty much hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you.